highest respect for this country, and I keep saying it until I leave the building. You, you, you see over here in this country, it's, the mores are a little different. The lifestyle is a little different. Here they're a little more self-conscious about sex, and it's more news about sex than is the United States. In the United States, everybody fools around. The women still pretend that they don't, but they're almost about to, they're trying to, but they're not ready to, it's not nice, what time, it's up to you, maybe we'll get some money. <laughs> they still don't fool around on the first date. First date is not nice. Second date, I'll take a chance. <laughs> they convince themselves on the first date, they hardly know you. The second date, well, but why not? Now I know you better. <laughs> How much better do you know a person on the second date than the first date? That philosophy is the biggest fraud in the world. It justifies a guilt complex that women have about sex. So they convince themselves on the second date they know you. It's the symbolism of the second date. They don't know you better. How do you know a person better because it's a second date? All you know is that the guy made two trips. All you know is that he went home and came back. He knows you better. The taxi driver knows you better. He don't know you better. You understand this? But she convinces herself. He came back because he respects me. That's no respect. Who comes back to a girl out of respect? Out of respect, he goes to a funeral. That's a girl. <laughs> he already made an investment on the first date, so he's coming back to come back. You understand that? On the first date, every man should know he's wasting his time. You're wasting your time on the first date. That's why on the first date, you know what I say? I say, hello, that's one, and I go home. <laughs> because with all the openness and all of the societies, the simple fact is that women still are hypocrites about the whole subject of sex. They have to pretend they never heard of it, they never did it, because they're raised to think it's not nice. A man is raised to think, for you, it's okay. So he's ready, and he wants it, but not with her, because even if he does with her, he's not supposed to let her know what he wants. But she's supposed to pretend she don't want it in order to do it. <laughs> if she wants it, not nice. If it happens, it happens, she didn't expect it. <laughs> so she has to pretend she never heard of it before she does it. So you have to pretend you don't want it in order to get it. <laughs> so the whole trick is to figure out how to get there without talking so she could do it without hearing. <laughs> She can do it without hearing, she'll take a chance. <laughs> you understand this, sister? That's why when I go, this is interesting, if you tell a guy, a, 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 you ever see a guy go with a girl to a motel, I don't want to talk too much about sex. This is not the place to talk about. But you ever see a guy take a girl to a motel? If he says to her, let's go to a motel, would you go? I never saw a guy say to a girl, let's go to a motel. Sure, my pleasure. I never heard. <laughs> You have to stop walking, pretend you don't know where you're going. <laughs> you see the sign, 12 blocks long, no time. She don't see the sign. All the way up to the elevator, they're discussing the Dominican before. <laughs> he makes a move, and she has to pretend she has no idea what he wants. There's nothing but a bed there. What else can you do there? Like that. <laughs> she pretend she has no idea what he wants. When a guy turns to girl, and then he will tell them. She always says the same thing. Me? Who else? There's nobody else there. Every girl is the same. I put you on to the stove. What has she got to say that's worth 98.50, 4 o'clock in the morning? Or she'll say, I never did this before. She means with you, she never did this. Or she'll say, how about my reputation? He heard about it. That's why he said it. 